been gigantic for us. And he was always the voice of the people that couldn't get the, the message out. It's not a lot of Dr. Omar's. This growth has probably been with him since childhood. December 29, 2012, and we're getting ready for the Liberia Hills Liberty Shine concert. And it's a blessing to have a special guest, a special guest in the country of Liberia. Allow him to introduce himself. Peace and love, brothers and sisters. Dr. Umar Johnson here, visiting Liberia for the first time from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. It's an honor to be here. This is my fourth trip to the motherland, but only my first one to Liberia. I've been to Nigeria, Senegal, Ethiopia, Malawi, and South Africa, but coming to Liberia has always been a priority for me, so I'm just glad this opportunity presented itself during my schedule. happy to be here and for me traveling the country is real good and all of that but just to be here you know for me is really where I derive my greatest benefit you know just looking out the window just watching the trees looking at the animals watching the children you know just play and talking to the brothers and sisters I get as much benefit out of that as I do doing anything else because being in the West as an African you know your mind is constantly under attack by white supremacy. You're constantly being influenced to think a different way, act a different way, feel a different way. You're constantly influenced to adopt values that are foreign and antithetical to what's to the best interest of African people. So for me, this is like a spiritual detox. It's like a cultural detoxification where over the next 10 days I get the opportunity to reconnect to my African spirit and my African roots. And I always say that, at least for me, and I think it's true for most of us who visit here from the West, Africa is like our charge. And we have to bring our batteries home to charge every so often. Our spiritual batteries being our soul, and Africa being the actual charger or the mother continent or our homeland, we often have to come here to get our sanity back because we tend to lose it over in the West. The ordinary sub stop, Philadelphia, PA. Shot so loud, you would think it was a club spot. African Americans, although we all over the web, we the hood librarians. We ship the prisons too. We reach out and deliver to those that's bitten too. But it's more than a bookstore. You wonder we got it, mixtapes, DVDs, and culture products. Black and Nobel got our hands in a lot of projects. We welcome on to come build the energy. It's positive. And remember, other team is awake and conscious. Come through and experience. This place of knowledge, they say they'll put it in a book If they wanna hide it from us But we got them books so you can buy it from us Something to read while you on a train or riding the bus Get your read on, food for thought, get your eat on Black and Nobel I buy my books at Black and Nobel Black and Nobel